what's up y'all welcome back to oh are we okay yeah welcome back to the past series here on fox we are at kentucky getting ready to kick things off from the kentucky speedway boy oh boy this is gonna be a wild one this track always produces the craziest of bangers and uh we got a slight difference if you haven't already noticed the walls are now green due to Quaker State sponsoring this racetrack. They've painted their walls green to match their sponsor. So, yeah, that's the only difference, but this track is uh, more or less the same. No repave, none of that. We're getting ready to hop into it here. So, I know we're all excited. Justin Allgaier's on the pole. He's excited. He's got Scott Speed starting P2. He's excited. Rounding, or starting P3 is the 46 of Matt Carter and the 99 of Ricky Sinal Shanger, who is in, uh, outside, rounding out the top 10, or top 5, excuse me, is Frank Kimmel with Ian Slager starting to his outside in that 97 machine. Here we go, getting ready to kick things off. The green flag is out. We're racing at Kentucky. Contact! How did how did they save that? They're five wide heading down to the turn three. I don't know if they're gonna keep it straight for long, but I have no idea how they saved that one. Rob Brent's down on the apron. I think he's got a problem with his car. He's trying to get down in the pit road, it seems. No, just way off the pace. And trying to stay out of the way. Man, I thought that was a wreck. We're green still. Four wide in the turns, one and two for the first time or second time here today. First time up the speed here from Kentucky Speedway and these guys all over the place trying to figure out what lane works the best. We've seen the top line start to come in and it's here now. It's here to stay. The top line getting stronger and stronger and drivers gonna try and uh, work their way work their way around it throughout the night. Down on the inside, Frank Kimmel though. Ain't afraid to take that shorter way around to try and slide up and clear the, four, the 16, excuse me, of Allgaier. Allgaier, though, with a run off the middle. A huge run. He works that high side on the racetrack. Doesn't have as much of a run, but he's got enough to try and cross over that 44. Now he gets underneath Kimmel, trying to retake the race lead side by side in the 1 and 2 yet again. Kimmel rolling that top side yet again. He's going to get a great run off of turn number two to keep on, uh, hanging on to that lead. Side by side in the three and four yet again. 16 of Allgaier rolls the bottom perfectly. Here comes Kimmel, crosses over, switches back underneath. It's going to be a battle, a battle of crossovers here. Nobody saving their tires. There's no tires to save, really. These short distances of these races. See the two of Scott Speed lurking in the shadows there as well. Another crossover, Kimmel cleared the 16 of Allgaier. Allgaier crosses back underneath. And here comes Scott Speed into the picture. Speed trying to get his name in the mix. He's gonna get up underneath that 44 car and that's gonna end this crossover battle pretty early. Or after a couple laps really, not really early. But now here comes Speed into the mix. He's going to dive under the 44 of Kimmel. Kimmel gets that great run on the exit as we go on board. Ian Slager in a 97. now trying his hand at taking the spot so we head down the back straight away he gets up in the third Kimmel's falling back he's up way up the racetrack now nobody's gone that high yet he's about to improve pretty much and he's gonna pay the price for it here Got a beautiful flyby heading down in the turn Yet again. Now, 
unfortunately, us past series fans will have to tune into the Speed Channel next season. We will not be covering every single race on Fox next year. Only the big events will be on FS1. The other ones will be on the Speed Channel, so y'all will have to subscribe to the Speed Channel if you're not already to enjoy, but we're racing here in the past series. But Money Car, uh, bring in some new series. Obviously, Fox can't have them all. That's a whole lot of money to spend on Money Car, so, uh, yeah. Side by side for the lead, though. Here's Allgaier on the inside. And uh, I'm going to have to step away for a second. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm back. Ian Slager has taken the lead. Won the last race at Atlanta, or excuse me, at Lanier. And uh, next season, these races, the Lanier and Kentucky races, will in fact be swapped around to better fit the schedule um, of the MG Cup series. Because I mean, why not? The MG Cup goes to Kentucky right after Atlanta, or right before Atlanta. We're going here after Lanier. Might as well just swap them around, make them line up a little better. But uh. Yeah. Or actually, I might just up, upload upload this first. You know, if I if you heard who won Lanier, and Lanier isn't up yet, then uh, pretend you didn't hear that. Whoops, no spoilers. But um, yeah, Allgaier out in front still from Day. Uh, goodness, I'm about to call it Daytona. They're racing like it's Daytona from Kentucky Speedway, and man, this multi groove stuff is making it really interesting. These guys holding on to the top, but the guys on the bottom as well, these wide sweeping corners, they're able to kind of make something work down low as well here. So it's really interesting to see how things play out. You see the 60 of Sheltra up into the mix. A bump draft to the 97 of Slager down the back stretch as well from Scott Speed in that two car. Speed now tucks in, or uh, Slager now tucks in behind that 60, but not before Shelter goes back down the block to 44. Speed now looking to the inside. They're going to be three wide. Speed in the middle. Hester down low. Hester's going to back out. Or, or will he? Almost turns the two car. They're going to save it. Still green. Wow, man. These races have been pretty chaotic in the past. I'm surprised we're still green right now. As we head down the front straightaway yet again. There's three wide for last, just about. Lots of three wide throughout the field, but coming back up to the front, get to see our leaders. Justin Allgaier has been pretty much untouched here ever since he broke out in front of the rest of the pack. He's been riding whatever lane is dominant, whatever lane he sees his competition using, he just rides that line and uh, breaks even with them. So they're gonna have to figure out something here. If they wanna catch that 16, they're gonna have to get a well-timed run and like like Kimmel just did and dive to the bottom but the problem is Allgaier's got that middle where to grip it and we got trouble big crash on the back straightaway Stenhouse is around in the middle of the racetrack lots of cars piling in oh look out look out oh man oh my goodness a huge impact red flag in the air and they're still piling in they just can't get stopped in time more piling in James Busher just got upended another car is flipping extremely violent wreck here from Kentucky caution is out red flag in the air they're trying to bring these guys to a stop as quickly as possible it is an absolute minefield of debris on the back straightaway oh my goodness cars stopped on the back stretch here you see Kimmel the 16 oh my goodness one of the most violent wrecks I've ever seen 
as they went around on the back straightaway. It kept getting bigger and bigger, and they just kept piling in and making it worse and worse and worse. We'll take a look at the replay right here. The 23 got spun up the racetrack. Boom. Right in the nose, and they just kept piling in and kept piling in. I mean, oh my goodness, that last hit. Oh, man. Really, really scary accident. Luckily, we don't have injuries in the past series. Um, otherwise, that would have likely been out for at least 10 races for that 23 car, if not the rest of the season. But luckily, we don't do injuries here in the past series. Only the MG Cup, so... These guys, uh, Arca braking and... Oh, somebody just drove across the track and kind of funneled these guys towards that 23 car. And then, man, they they just came piling in back here. Didn't even attempt to hit the brakes, it seems. And wow. Just a really violent wreck. One of the worst wrecks I've ever seen. Completely killed these race cars. And I know that had to hurt. Goodness gracious. Red flag has been lifted. We're back under caution. And basketball already through the caution we're back we're ready to get back underway missing a little more than half the field after that last wreck that was a violent one man oh man here we go green flag back in the air we're racing once again from Kentucky getting back up to speed watching the field as they're gonna fly by in the turn one Down the back stretch. Yet again on this restart, Frank Kimmel, the new leader, but here comes the two of Scott Speed looking down low. Speed's gonna hop in line behind the 44 car to come off turn number four. As it continues to get darker outside, and now these guys are trying to figure out what lane will work best for them. Kimmel using that middle lane to his advantage. Scott Speed running the bottom feels a little faster down low. We've got options here. That's the cool thing about this wear and tear from Kentucky. There are options. There are different choices of what lane to use, but the middle does seem to be the dominant lane because if you can get that, if you can get somebody to your inside, you can just pin them down, and they can't get that momentum on exit. Problem is, if you can't get enough momentum on exit to try and keep them towards the back half of your car, they're just gonna dive into the corner if they're alongside you and clear you like Scott Speed just did. Here comes Patrick Sheltra though. Sheltra now back into the mix. He excels at this type of intermediate racing. Won at Auto Club a few weeks ago, looking to get another win here from Kentucky. As he dives in yet again. Side by side now with Scott Speed. Speed has the run, but can't clear the 60s nose. Side by side through three of four. Patrick Shelter is going to clear Scott Speed off of turn number four. Running down the front stretch yet again. Here comes Frank Kimmel back into the mix. Kimmel is going to dive it in deep. Goes bottom feeding on the inside. He's gonna get his nose in there. Got the 60 a little loose and now pulls to the out or the inside for the race lead. Side by side, heading into three. Kimmel drives it in deep. He's gonna clear. He's getting that inside to really work. Here comes Scott Speed through the middle, taking up three wide. Can he make it work? Tommy Hessert on the inside. Tom Hessert the third, looking to make that move on the bottom for P2. Had the back out of it. Scott Speed through the middle is going to prevail. We got lap traffic. It's the 77 of Parker Kligerman. He pulls low. Kligerman gets out of the way to the inside of the racetrack. Uh-oh, now they're splitting them. Speed up to the middle to the high side of the racetrack. And another one. Jesus Hernandez way off the pace. Hernandez is going to stay right on the bottom. Now moving up to the top. Speed has to check up. Here comes the 16 of Allgaier. 
Oh my goodness, look out. Really close. Slager almost ran over that 36 car. Oh boy. Running up on more slow cars here. Down the front straight away, and there's contact. Around goes Hesser into the 34 of Basham. They're gonna keep. He's gonna keep it straight, but Hesser goes around. That's gonna bring out another late race caution with 10 laps to go as they're racing back around to the caution flag right now. Coming back around to the yellow. Who is gonna be the leader? It's gonna be Frank Kimmel. It seems off of turn number four, leading us back to the caution flag. Yellow flag is out once again. Taylor Mawson sneaks in a third. Ian Slager with some contact with the lapper. Brings out another late race caution flag. We saw it there. There was no need to look at the replay. If you want to look at a replay, just rewind the video a little bit. Go back, watch it again. But we're going to go ahead and hop back into things here. A couple laps left from Kentucky. It's starting to get really dark out here. The 44 of Kimmel will lead us back to the caution or to the green flag, excuse me. 16 to Allgaier. P2, the green flag back in the air. Scott Speed with a great jump on the high side. He's going to pull to the outside and try and make it three wide heading down into turn one. Brad Smith went absolutely nowhere. Lots of underdogs up towards the front here on this restart. Taylor Moss I'm looking for his first win. Michael Phelps gets hooked down on the apron by Ian Slager. They both save it down low, but they're going to lose a ton of time and a ton of momentum down the back straightaway. Heading into three and four, Frank Kimmel leads us once again through turns three and four, but not without a huge run from Justin Allgaier up top and a big push from Shelter behind them. Venture Rainy Motorsports saw how Allgaier was running these previous seasons, decided to pick him up and give him an opportunity and some big time equipment and look at what he's doing with it now. Running down the veteran Frank Kimmel out in front and Kimmel possibly his most dominant season so far. Looks to be the man to beat here today from Kentucky. But Allgaier right there on his back bumper might have something to say about that as we head down into one and two yet again. Allgaier looking low. Can he get his nose underneath? No, he can't. Kimmel's got the momentum through the corner. Patrick Shelter back there as well. Don't forget about him. He could get up there and, and make things interesting. Coming to two laps to go this time by. Here comes Allgaier looking low once again. Can he get his nose inside of Kimmel? No, he can't. Once again, has to tuck in line. Patrick Shelter has a run down the front straightaway in the draft of these two. Can he get up there and steal one? We're not going awfully fast around here, so draft definitely playing a pretty big factor as well. You see the 60 of Shelter up into the mix. There's little to no off-throttle time here with just how slow these guys are going. But man, here comes the 16 of Allgaier to the inside of Frank Kimmel side by side for the race lead at the white flag. One lap to go. Allgaier, Kimmel, shelter in the top three under a blanket here heading into one and two. Frank Kimmel rolling the middle line, trying to get the momentum off corner exit. He's got to deal with Patrick Shelter to his inside. Can he clear Shelter heading into three and four? One final time. Shelter, Kimmel side by side for P2. Allgaier running away with it. Justin Allgaier is coming off turn four to win at Kentucky. What a battle. Shelter comes home P2. Speed and Mawson round out the top five with Ian Slager right there behind them in six. Thompson, Townley, Smith, and Phelps, your top ten. Tommy Hesser, Chase Mattioli, Brian Silas, Dexter Bean, Pierre Bourquet, Greg Sachs, Brett Hudson, Daryl Basham crossing the line now, P19, or P... I don't even know, and Jesus Hernandez. 19 Parker Kligerman rounds out the top 20. There's only 20 cars left on the track. That's gonna do it. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Until then, peace.